I want you to both take a moment, a moment to deep breathe, a moment to look at all the love that surrounds you, a moment to be right here now and enjoy. I kind of woke up at four in the morning thinking about how we got here today. As I look at my daughter, the bride, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. She captured my heart on the day she was born and became more and more in awe of her as the years passed by. Taylor and Klaus are very similar in the way they treat people and their passion for kids. It further enforced that she wants to help develop youth. As I got to know Carlos, I could see why Taylor fell in love with him. But hearing memories from his friends and families Thursday night at the rehearsal dinner really hit me. Everyone recognizes that they were meant for each other. It truly is meant to be. Dear Carlos, before I met you, I didn't know what love was. Love seemed distant from my own reality. You taught me that love is laughter, love is loving someone at their worst, love is pushing someone to be their best, love is compromise and sacrifice, love is genuine but rare. I never knew I was capable of loving someone more than anything in this world until I met you. day is finally here. I couldn't be more excited and grateful that I get to marry my best friend. You came into my life when I needed you most. I look back at the time that we have spent together and I can only say that it has been the best time of my life. I love you more than you'll ever know. Thank you for taking a chance on me three years ago. That will forever be the best decision of my life. Love you tons, your husband. The relationship shared between Taylor and Carlos is an inspiration to us all. It is clear whether they're together or apart that they are each other's biggest fans. Many say you do not marry someone to make yourself happy. You marry someone because you love making them happy. It is because of this kind of daily commitment to be your best selves for each other that we have all seen throughout the past three years that you stand here today for all the right reasons. the last three years learning from each other, building trust, building patience, learning that I'm not always right, although I would like to believe that I am, but most importantly, we built love. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Wherever our journey takes us, you will always be the reason it's worth taking. I will celebrate your triumphs and love you all the more for your failures. I will cheer on the Lakers and split my time with the Raiders. You make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. I can't wait to build a family together and on this day and every day after, I promise to be your partner in all things. My privilege to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Zepeda. I have seen Taylor wear a dress exactly four times <laughs> since I have known her but I have to say that this is my favorite one yet. You look absolutely beautiful. They say you 
don't marry the person that you can live with, they say you marry the person that you can't live without. So from untying each other's shoes on the basketball court at Lake Boren to tying the knot here today, let's raise a glass and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Zepeda. I can stand here and talk about, you know, Carlos and I and our experiences and our friendship, like the whole night, with so many stories. But, uh, you know, that's not the point. It's, it's really about Carlos and Taylor, and, you know, and how of a great match they are. But most importantly, Taylor is a better three-point shooter than Carlos. She's my little girl, my princess, and my ray of sunlight. And no matter what her age, she'll always be those things to me. But today as I watch her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and I'm confident that she and Carlos are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with the love and happiness that can only come as man and wife.